We know that you have been known to wear the same clothes for a long time so that Patrick can win. Anything, anything for a win, you know. Um, baseball players, you know how superstitious we are and um, whatever's working, work is working. So, you know, you just gotta keep rolling it out until it fails. So there was one outfit that you wore kind of at the beginning of the season when it was nice and warm and you ended up wearing that same little white pair of shorts all the way into the winter. Almost froze to death in New England, you know. Um, it was uh, pretty crazy, but um, it was well worth it. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit about the fact that there was a time you were kind of mad at your son for choosing football over baseball, and what's the main reason for that? Well, I, I mean, it wasn't that I was mad. I just uh, saw the danger, you know, is you could, you could get hurt a lot easier, you know, playing football than you can playing baseball. Um, I wasn't mad. I, I, you know, I always thought he was going to be a baseball player, but you know, in the at the bottom line, you know, it's his decision, it's his career, and whatever he wants to do, he do, he does. But um, you know, I wouldn't have chose it. <laughs> I know you wouldn't. Have. Welcome to the field of fatherhood. Welcome to the field of fatherhood. My name is Kevin with FatherFigureOnline.com. Here we've got Patrick Mahomes Sr., father of the soon-to-be legendary quarterback Patrick Mahomes for the Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes Sr. was a Major League Baseball pitcher in the 90s and 2000s, most notably for the Minnesota Twins and the New York Mets. What's interesting here in this clip as he's talking about his son, Patrick Mahomes, and how proud he is of him, and uh, if you've ever played baseball or you know about baseball, he's absolutely right. Baseball players are extremely superstitious. What I'd like for my fathers and parents to take from this is the fact that Patrick Mahomes Sr. says that he wasn't upset when Patrick Mahomes chose football. Although he thought he would be a baseball player and following his dad's footsteps, he allowed him to make the choice and let it be up to him that he pursue football. And what I want you to think about here is, could there be a situation where the pressure you're applying to have your kids or your children go in a certain direction so intense that they possibly are giving up being great in something that they truly had a chance at being the greatest in. It's no doubt in my mind that Patrick Mahomes, as well as he plays the quarterback position in football, would have been a very decent baseball player, pitcher, shortstop, had he ended up going the route of baseball. Now, what's doubtful in my mind is that he would have been as great at baseball as he in fact is in football. And I think it's important when we're parenting these children and we're guiding them and leading them towards being independent enough to make their own decisions and between what they're interested in and what they're good at coming to the best possible conclusion of what they're gonna do with their lives, I think it's important that that final decision lies with the child. You know, as much as we would love for our children to follow in our footsteps and do what we did, especially if we had success at it, at the end of the day, it's really up to that child what it is that they want to do. Of course, with the proper guidance, with guidance and with care, help them make the right decision, but make sure that you don't apply the type of pressure that makes them make the decision that you want. And I think Patrick Mahomes Sr. did an excellent job of doing just that. And Patrick Mahomes chose football and we see the results and we'll see um, if he goes down as the greatest of all time, which uh, even early on seems like uh, a possibility for him barring any type of injury or anything um, like that. If you need more advice like this, if you'd like more coaching and tips on parenting, click the link in the bio if you're on Instagram. Click the link in the box if you're on YouTube. Purchase a one-on-one -on -one coaching session from me or one of the licensed professionals on my team. Being great is a choice. I'm off the field.